Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Monday the 4th of May 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar at the beginning of the trading week. Uh, as you know, we have uh, some data published already. The key uh, data were from Australia. The Reserve Bank of Australia had made the interest rate decision. They decided to leave the interest rate decision at the level of 0.10%. So the interest rate is unchanged. We will take a look at the Australian dollar to see what is going on there, how this inf um, influenced the, uh, the price action. Uh, during the London session, we got plenty of data to be, uh, to be released, mostly from the UK, but those, as you can see, are not that much, that much important. Maybe the PMI manufacturing will, will change something, uh, but uh, it's still like being expected at the level of the 60.7, which is the same as the previous month. Um, during the New York session, we have some other data here. Uh, so we got the building permits and trade balance data from Canada scheduled for release half past one. We got a trade balance um, data uh, and factory orders uh, scheduled for release uh, later as on trade balance half past one, factory orders three o'clock. And at the end of the day, we got another interest rate decision this time from the new zealand um, central bank as you can see quarter to midnight we have the unemployment change uh, we have the employment change data as well and just uh, just before of that we got uh, the financial stability report 10 o'clock so anyway unemployment rate is uh, scheduled uh, for at least quarter to um, to midnight and it should stay at the same level 4.9% uh, employment change should drop from 0.6 to 0.3% quarter to uh, quarter participation rate should stay roughly at the same um, uh, level as well so those are the data for uh, for today let's take a look at Australian dollar first what is going on here 7,822 pips. This red horizontal line, which is, of course, our technical resistance, is a big problem for bulls because they tried three times already to break above it and they failed, which means uh, the market is trading a little bit lower and is still uh, between uh, blue neckline, let's say, the old neckline from the head and shoulder pattern, supposed to be, 38% um, uh, at, um, uh, at uh, 7,709 pips. And of course, those levels are uh, basically the key uh, technical levels that are preventing the market to drop lower. Uh, towards 50% or 61%, uh, 61% is at 7,642. If the 61% is violated, then of course we can expect a drop towards uh, 7,564 or even lower. For now, however, uh, we are still trading between the red line from the above and of course the 38% uh, from the below. What is going on on the New Zealand dollar? Um, we got some breakout. We, we we got a breakout, of course, a little bit higher. And uh, this breakout looks like an impulsive kind of a breakout because uh, out of this of, the, of this uh, descending channel. But we have a very interesting candle here. We have a pin bar, kind of a looking like a shooting star. And so it's very interesting to keep an eye on this. We got wave one. Uh, eventually then five ways up uh, of course the correction five ways up so way three and way four and last push way five so it's very very interesting to see how this market will now uh, behave because of course um, we got some some reaction on the on the pin bar so we testing we are testing 7157 so this is the key technical support let's make it uh, back uh, back green and of course this level is um, uh, is the key level because if if it is violated then the next technical uh, target would be 7097 or even it would be a little bit lower because according to the newest data, uh, we can even move it. We can even move it towards. Oh, I can't. I can't grab it. Okay, let's let's then. We can move it. Move it towards uh, seven thousand and sixty-nine pips, which is the which is the top 
uh, of this of this little little consolidation here so we got a nice breakout impulsive breakout and if this impulsive breakout will will continue then of course bounce is uh, uh, is uh, expected from one of these levels let's see if there is some sort of the fibonacci retracement i will place my fibonacci retracement here to see where is the uh, Retracements are 61, 38, and 500. Yes. So uh, basically, we are testing 38% again. So this is this pullback, this correction is very shallow. So we can, of course, bounce back and head higher towards 7,313 or even 7,339. Uh, uh, let me just put another technical resistance here at. The level of 7,462 pips, which is of course the high of uh, February 2021. However, if the 38% is violated, then of course we'll we'll go a little bit lower in order to correct this this move, this move here because it was uh, kind of a almost 300 pips move. So we can we can we we, we still have on the on this uh, on this uh, pair we still have our room to go a little bit lower on the New Zealand. Uh, dollar so Australian dollar New Zealand dollar let's take a look at the ethereum uh, this is something completely um, um, ethereum we have uh, 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 we have ethereum towards American dollar this is what I was looking for and of course what do we have we have a breakout higher we have new all-time high so right now on um, this level is no longer needed um, we will put our next target on the level four thousand dollars so this is uh, let's put it straight four thousand dollars uh we'll put this one lower a little bit like this so we can clearly see what is going on here so let me put more uh technical supports here we of course been uh been trading around this level here 2546 a couple of times then there was a breakout and to be honest uh i think that the next key technical support is 3000 simply 3000 because it is more likely a uh, psychological support not not kind of a technical support because one two three four five six seven eight nine days in a row we are going up and up and up targeting four thousand dollars uh, on the daily time frame uh, chart it's it's key uh, it's 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 um, it's very very easy to to spot the key technical uh, support 2546 as you can see but if we take a look at our RSI we can see the RSI is right now at 83 points which means the ethereum market is extremely extremely overbought right so please um, make uh, make the assumption uh, uh, that um, well that might be some kind of a correction here right maybe not um, right now but very very soon because because this kind of a market conditions are not uh, um, very likely to sustain itself for a longer period of time and simply the market might uh, make um, a red candle right so what we should be looking for is some signs some signals of a potential reversal on the ethereum okay so uh, any kind of a market um, of course uh, price uh, price action uh, signals uh, candlestick formations price pattern formations something like um, uh, something like this would tell us uh, basically if the correction is coming just like here or maybe something like here for now there is no indication of a correction there is no indication of this uptrend to be uh, terminated but some sort of the correction will come sooner or later please keep an eye on the level of 3000 next target on the ethereum is the level of uh, four thousand uh, dollars so that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys tomorrow bye bye